there welcome back to my channel losing with shannon so this is kind of like part two of my thm unboxing which will actually be also like so i got cut off uh because my battery uh, my battery was dying but i was saying you know maybe hold on i was saying at the very end of it maybe you shouldn't trust my opinions on taste because when I drink art uh, uh, bottled tea, there's a taste in there I cannot pour. No one understands what I'm talking about. It's like this fake lemony taste. But even if there's it doesn't say lemon in it, it still tastes lemony. I think it's the absorbic acid. But uh, there's only actually two tales, teas I've been able to find in a bottle that don't taste horrible, and that's the oolong from Paris. Speaking of oolong. I didn't mention it in the unboxing, but I got THM Oolong. So today, I didn't I didn't drink the rest of I didn't make a sweet uh, sipper because I have a uh, Oolong. I usually just do sweet Oolong. Hold on, you do not hurt him. Sorry, children. So I have made uh, so this will be a taste testing comparing the THM Oolong, which I've heard is really good and. Uh, robust, which I I know people say Prince of Peace is amazing, but I've had Prince of Peace before, and I felt like it was too light. I had like used three or four bags for my quart, so I'm putting one squirt each. I think in each of these, I have. Whoops, that was, that was a super small squirt. I have THM stevia, uh, th no THM oolong over here. I have this Tao brand, T-O. I would have to look at the bag. Uh, I think I got it when I was pregnant and I found it at the health food store because it's when Kroger stopped selling the private selections for a minute, but then they brought it back. So my favorite, beyond favorite, one of my favorites is, oh, this really expensive brand that I haven't had in a while, but I found it at Big Lots. But like normally it's super expensive or more expensive than I'd prefer considering how much I use. So, so this is, this is all like lukewarm, warm, because it's been resting for an hour or so, especially it doesn't help with the kids situation, so, that is that. Are you done nursing? You don't look like it. So, that's the normal taste of, well, I haven't had this one in a while. I had it the other day, but it seemed really light when I put it in the quart jar. That one seems a little lighter than the Kroger. Kroger has more body. If that makes sense, it has a more like a round flavor. I don't know if that makes sense at all. So, I've never tried the THM oolong before. I'm really picky with my oolong because I want it to be strong and I want to use less bags per whatever I'm buying for. So, with Kroger, I can use two in a quart jar and that's my day of uh, my sipper uh, whereas other brands I've had to use like three or four which is ridiculous and ridiculously expensive depending on the brand that's not as weak as this towel brand I'm gonna put a little squirt in each one I feel like if it was a little sweeter Could be a little happier. All right, so Kroger. Though this Kroger private selection is like a brown packaging. I still think Kroger's better, but this is a good second runner-up, I think. Yeah. It's just rounder. I don't know if that makes any sense, but it's like rich and robust. But that is good second. That is, and the colors almost the same. Whereas this one looks significantly lighter to me. It's really neat. And these have been brewing the same temp temperature. Now, this is second two part episode of my unboxing. So I did. Eat half of that one bar and put it in my freezer fridge for a few hours. Ran to my dark boy and ate it. It wasn't as bad with the aftertaste. Um, 
but uh, this one's been in the fridge except for the last 20 minutes for 20, 24 hours. I've heard that's the key. So, let's see if it's any better. I ate an egg, so I'm not starving. Actually, I wound up making an omelet accidentally, so. It's not as bad, but I can still feel, taste the aftertaste. I wonder if the aftertaste I'm tasting is I'm tasting the aloe vera gel. I don't know. It's weird. It's, it really is weird. It's in my taste. Because I eat, use urethanol fine. I don't feel a cooling sensation in any of those. Who wants to see the baby? Hi, baby. But, um. Kid is throwing rocks at the wall, I think. And the stairs. So, so, overall, I don't know if I'd buy these again. I got the 12 pack, so, if you're sensitive to weird taste, like, if, if you find a taste in iced tea, like, bottled tea, that no one else can tell, I'm going to have it for you. I mean, I'm going to eat it. I'm going to drink all these teas, though. I'm going to sit here and drink them all. <laughs> and, uh, if you taste weird aftertaste in certain things, maybe trim honey bars may not be for you. And, like, if... And the thing is, I don't think I'm a super taster in anything like that. I barely, like... Although, someone does think, uh, you know, cabbage? I think cabbage tastes sweet. Like, does that make sense? Like, sweet and spicy at the same time? Yeah, for Probably not after yesterday. But um, maybe the bars may not be for you. Now, if you cannot find oolong anywhere in your area, maybe the THM oolong would be worth your money. Um, it's pretty close. It is pretty close, but I really do like private selections better from Kroger, at least for my taste, but maybe I'm not used to it. Um, this. This is not a super fantastic brand. I think I just got it because I found out on sale maybe somewhere. Yeah. But I'm going to wind up eating all this bar though. I just cut. Hey, maybe this out of it. Shut the door, please. So, I mean, I'm not ungrateful and like completely sad and depressed that because honestly, I'll eat an RX bar because half the time on my journey I've been doing crossovers and everything and maybe I'm hoping during this nursing uh, maybe during this nursing journey I'll already make it to my goal weight I'm about let's see 15 55 pounds for my Goldish weight. So I'm hoping maybe I'll reach it in this nursing journey and say, and I can have crossovers and RX bars. Those crossovers not completely on bars. I don't live on bars. Um, but I still prefer Kroger, Oolong, but THMC uh, Oolong is pretty darn good. So it's it's not bad. It's not bad. And I'm gonna drink all this tea and finish this bar and. Um, about it. Mood flies. All my kids are just being bad this afternoon. I'll see you guys next time. Um, so I'm three weeks postpartum this week so I probably won't start like being super serious about being on plan making videos and everything for maybe probably three more weeks. I am trying harder and harder to get on plan or stay on plan but sometimes it's hard. Like I totally ate some feelings and ate like four packs of gummy bears earlier today. Um, 
But I mean, every day is getting closer to 100% or 90%. Um, it's for the best me. It's, it is what it is. Uh, and hopefully I'll find a lactation consultant in my area and we can do a way to feed and see how that is. So I'll see you guys next time. So this will be part two of the GHM unboxing, uh, which is kind of a long taste test and a 24 hour for great taste test other thing. Cause I really don't want to edit the video because I have like two videos I'm meant to edit and upload and still haven't done that. So I'll see you guys next time. Have a great one. Bye bye.